morning. Welcome to the monastery. My name is Margaret Holman. Today we celebrate the Feast of Christ the King, Year B. Please stand to welcome Father Tony. So as we gather in this new day, we begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. What a beautiful day to gather here. So as we come together to celebrate this feast of Christ the King, we turn to one another and say good morning to them if you haven't said good morning to them yet. And to those who are joining us online as well, good morning to you all as well. And so to prepare ourselves now to celebrate this sacred mystery we pause and ask God for his forgiveness, especially at this time, we ask God for peace and healing that we all need at this time. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You come in word and sacrament to strengthen us and make us holy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. So we give glory to God. Glory to God. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, you break the power of evil and make all things new in your Son, Jesus Christ, the King of the universe. May all in heaven and earth acclaim your glory and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. A reading from the prophet Daniel. 
I gazed into the visions of the night, and I saw, coming on the clouds of heaven, one like a son of man. He came to the one of great age and was led into his presence. On him was conferred sovereignty, glory, and kingship, and men of all peoples, nations, and languages became his servants. His sovereignty is an eternal sovereignty which shall never pass away, nor will his empire be destroyed. The word of the Lord. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. The Lord is king with majesty and robed. The Lord has robed himself with might. He has girded himself with power. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. The world you made firm, not to be moved. Your throne has stood firm from of old. From all eternity, O Lord, you are. Truly, your decrees are to be trusted. Holiness is fitting to your house, O Lord, until the end of time. A reading from the book of the Apocalypse. Jesus Christ is the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead, the ruler of the kings of earth. He loves us and has washed away our sins with his blood and made us a line of kings, priests to serve his God and Father. To him then be glory and power forever and ever. Amen. It is he who is coming on the clouds. Everyone will see him, even those who pierced him and all the races of the earth will mourn over him. This is the truth. Amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, who is, who was, and who is to come, the Almighty. The word of the Lord. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Be with you. And with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory Are you the king of the Jews? Pilate asked. Jesus replied, Do you ask this of your own accord, or have others spoken to you about me? Pilate answered, Am I a Jew? It is your own people and the chief priest who have handed you over to me. What have you done? Jesus replied, Mine is not a kingdom of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, my men would have fought to prevent me being surrounded to the Jews. But my kingdom is not of this kind. So you are king then, said Pilate. It is you who say it, answered Jesus, yes, I am a king. I was born for this, I came into the world for this, to bear witness to the truth. 
and all who are on the side of truth, listen to my voice. The good news, the gospel of the Lord. One of the big things in life is about origin, where we are from. A few weeks ago, I went up to Northern Territory. As I walked into the airport, the COVID people asked me, where are you from? Where are you flying from? And I said, from Adelaide. So they said, could we see the proof that you are coming from Adelaide? When I showed them, they said, you may pass through. Sometimes we say, your accent betrays you. Sometimes we judge people purely of where they are coming from. In other words, we are trying to identify who this person is. Our readings of this weekend all talk about the title of Jesus, who is this King Jesus. In our first reading, in Prophet Daniel, he foresees the coming of the one who will liberate the people, a title which means someone will come with his armies to fight and to liberate the people. In our second reading, it talks about the end of time and the coming of Jesus also with all his armies to fight the powers of this earth. In our gospel, we see Pilate was interrogating with Jesus. Pilate was the same. He only heard the stories of Jesus. He knows Jesus made miracles. He listens to his speeches, but now he came in contact with Jesus, and the first question that Pilate asked was, where are you from? Are you a king, really? And what sort of kingdom that you bring to this world? Pilate was so passionate, he was so intrigued to know more about Jesus, and we too, sometimes, we want to know more about people when we make our first contact with them. Our life, our Christian journey is a phase to getting more to know about this Jesus. Jesus often speaks of God and the best of us and our duty as Christians, we are called to live and walk with him in this faith. Our mission is a calling to live like Jesus in love and in service. But how do we come to know this Jesus, the King of the universe? We become like him through reading about his life and about his mission. As we come today to celebrate this feast of Christ the King, perhaps King is a strange feast. Jesus never wanted to be a king, but he took it on out of love so that he will come to save you and me. But perhaps we could ask, what sort of king do we want to meet in our life? Perhaps 
We want to meet this king with compassion and with love, the king that always speaks of the truth, the king that always prays for you and me. As we come closer to the end of this liturgical year, isn't it beautiful to end this with this feast of Christ, the King of the universe, and to learn of someone who is not just a king, but someone who is a servant for us all. Perhaps in this Mass we pray that we will always in this reign of God and pray and to live with Jesus. And later as we pray again this prayer that he himself taught us, our Father, we remember that when we say your kingdom come, we are reminded again to always live and to ask that this kingdom will always dwell in us so that we will experience this kingdom among each one of us. So we stand now as we profess our faith. I believe in God. Sisters and brothers, Jesus, humiliated and broken, stands before Pilate and declares himself to be a king. We, the members of his kingdom, pray through him to the Father. For the church, that we may become people of truth through listening to God's word, sharing in the Eucharist, and giving witness to it in our decisions and actions. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our For transformation of our attitudes, that we may follow Christ in using our power and abilities to wash the feet of others, speak up for those who are oppressed, and help carry the burdens of those who are suffering. Lord, hear us. For the youth of our Archdiocese, gathered with Archbishop Patrick for the Diocesan Youth Assembly today, that the Spirit of Jesus, our King, will open their hearts to the needs and hopes of all youth. Lord, hear us. For the youth of the Church, celebrating this World Youth Sunday is in every diocese, that they will embrace its theme. Stand up, I appoint you as a witness of what you have seen with great confidence. Lord, hear us. For leaders of government and judges, that they may recognise that their authority comes from God and that it is intended for the service of the human community. Lord, hear us. For the six young Vietnamese deacons, Peter, Vincent, Mike, Francis Xavier, Dominic and Paul, who studied in the Adelaide Novitiate in 2015 and 2016 to 2017, 
and will be ordained priests in Vietnam this week, that they will always be guided and sustained by God's love and peace as they serve his people. Lord, hear us. We pray for those who are sick and for those who have asked for our prayers. We pray for those whom God has called from this life and for those whose anniversaries occur at this time. Lord, hear us. And we take this time as well to pray for our own special needs. Jesus, our King, in the midst of the noise of this world, give us the grace to hear your voice calling us. Arise, testify to love and respect, truth and integrity. Arise, testify that Christ is alive and his message is love and salvation. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. reconciled to you, we humbly pray that your Son himself may bestow on all nations the gifts of unity and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you anointed your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, with the oil of gladness, as eternal priest and king of all creation, so that by offering himself on the altar of the cross, as a spotless sacrifice to bring us peace. He might accomplish the mysteries of human redemption and making all created things subject to his rule. He might present to the immensity of your majesty an eternal and universal kingdom, a kingdom of truth and life, a kingdom of holiness and grace, a kingdom of justice, love and peace. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, 
and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. And together we proclaim the mystery of faith. When we of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Patrick, our Bishop, all who proclaim your gospel and all the people who gathered here. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Paul of the Cross, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Father, so we have the courage now to pray. 
our Father, our Lord, be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who trespass. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. And Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the face of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. And let us offer each other the sign of peace. of the world, and blessed are those who are called to say in this meal, and may the body and blood of Christ bring us to eternal life.
Father Patrice leaves the parish on the 8th of January. The parish team has organised a farewell for Father Patrice on Sunday the 5th of December at 10.30 a.m. and Sunday the 12th of December at 6 p.m. More details to follow. If you would like to donate uh, towards a gift for Father Patrice, you can make a credit card payment by ringing the parish office or leave a cash donation at the front office. Christmas cards from St Vincent de Paul are available for, for, for purchase after all masses over the next few weekends. Please take home a free copy of the Advent booklet, which is at the entrance of the church. The parish requires more volunteers for the ministry of playing the PowerPoint at the 9.30 a.m. and 5 p.m. mass. Please contact the parish office for further information. Roster for the Christmas masses and the program for Advent Christmas will be available next weekend. Please think about what mass time you will be able to assist at. As per the notice in the bulletin, please remember to bring grocery donations for the Brother Michael Christmas hamper appeal next weekend. Items can also be dropped off at the office. Thank you. And once again, thank you all for coming to our Mass this morning, to the choir and all those who are helping in this Mass as well. Thank you all. So we stand for our final prayer. Lord, you give us Christ, the King of all creation, as food for everlasting life. Help us to live by his gospel and bring us to the joy of his kingdom, where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with May the Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.